Afternoon, guys. Um, we'll try. That sun's in my eye. Going down. I'm going down. Um, yeah, we'll try and get. Well, maybe another set of tenors. Ruin that. Still should go along. We'll try and get some push-ups for the batteries done. Yeah, blue boy. Oh, a couple of, that was a couple of push-ups for the vets of the court, guys. And I've noticed my legs have lost a lot of weight, guys, and I'll tell you why. See, with the crust nerve on the bottom of the spine, brutal. Really, and you can go on a bit all day long, can't explain it to you guys, but more for half, still a wee bit of strong that. You've got to understand, guys, when you've compressed discs in your back, some days I've got needle and pins in my legs and they numb and it's an ongoing saga guys but there we go yeah, by the grace of God go I am here eh? and that's what I say after having serious injuries but the good side still to have push ups for the veterans um, I'm going to be down to Stockton and he's down to the Don's War Museum Saturday the 21st, that's all Pete McLeish. Legendary within his cell, guys. His book, No Mean Soldier. I've got the original copy up there. I'll get him a sign it. And give him a wee gift to a one battalion, a South African battalion from the South African Wars, with easy and all the rest of it. I found a big jug up there in my attic, so I'll give it to him as a wee present. On that one, I'm donating a wee. Victoria Cross replica thing for a jewel, you know, and what better place for it to go to? The Don's War Museum and the Victoria Cross Association. So it's going back just to be momentum for my Scottish Guard won it in the First World War, but history, I believe, should be preserved and it should be passed down, guys, for our youth. Like I said, Julie gets school trips in there and educate the kids with what's going on in the past wars and that. And it's great. I think that's a brilliant thing. So, Peter McAleese, oh, legend of extraordinary, that old man. And when they say warriors all get old, guys. I hope you guys getting old. He's an old man now. He's getting on, but it'll be my privilege and honour to shake his hand and all that. And he started as a young part of Trooper Man Battalion, 1st Battalion. He then went to Hereford, I'll see us. Went to Aden. Uh, from there, he then basically went away to South Africa and fought in the Rhodesian Bush Wars. And he had an extensive life over there. And that gave me their special forces, and then he was a master and put a team together to go into Colombia for the famous Pablo Escobar. You couldn't write this, guys. And in the book, I remember reading it, rather than the pile into the side of the mountain. You can imagine it, lying there, smashed up on the mountain. Now you've got the cartels looking for you. Wow, how he got off that mountain alive, I'll never know. But he's here to tell the story, and as I say, I'm down there to see him, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, from there, we're down to Bogdan Regis the following week for Bob and French and Zoe, uh, his lovely wife. And that's to do with autism and that, guys, and uh, Bob's future plans next year, which I'll be supporting and involved in. Uh, that'll be a great honour as well, Bob. Thank you. From there, up to Francesca, my wee pal, Franny Webb, big shout out. She's done amazing. On her self harming, getting the rock stars to sign her arms and all that, and she wanted me to sign the casino. 
It does whatever she'll get. Signed on and it's stopped her from self harming, so that's a great thing, guys. Jordan McCann, Bogsy Malone, big hitters, guys, on the uh, UK rap scene. So, I'm looking forward to that as well. And that's for her self harm and awareness campaign. Big shout out, Fran. Uh, boy, I phone old Jim Smith, I've not spot the gym ball. I keep old at the gym, eh? <laughs> Those old guys. Um, I better get on the phone and see how he's doing. I spoke to him for a week or so. And I spoke to his wee pal Marion there earlier on, checked on her, all good. But for her lad Stephen, who's autistic as well, uh, he's in the hospital, so. Real life goes on, guys. Real life goes on. And I said to a certain pal of mine the other day, there's a difference between serious mental health and mental health issues that then feel sorry for yourself. Some people just need to give yourself a kick up last thing on me and we could do it and I've had counselling recently. So I think I'm qualified to speak a wee bit more on that. Fucking degree in that one, mental health. Ha ha! And that's me making fun of everything again, guys. I always do my way of dealing with things. But uh, big difference with feeling sorry for yourself and giving yourself a shake, as I say. Nobody's going to do them push ups for me. I've got to do them. Well, I've got a broken back when I'm feeling sorry for myself. I've got to do them. Nobody's going to do them, guys. So that's the way I look on it. And at 57, I might give myself a shake and get down and do some push ups for the vets, let's call it, for the veterans. And there's no excuse for any young guys not going to the gym or doing a bit and getting themselves fit. Simple as. And if you're in a fit body, fit mind, you're in a fit place. Simple. It's a fact. It's been proven, tried and tested. So we'll love you and leave you on that one, guys. And uh, shout out John Gallagher, yeah, my mate. <laughs> Guy hit us up in comments, no seen him for years, and we end up communicating through YouTube, guys. You couldn't write her. Uh, so when we went on these stories with nonsense, didn't mate? The old open prison. Wow. I think John was doing it down for a post office, something crazy back in the days in the 90s, guys. There you go. Uh, I called him the Duke. We used to train, we used to go to wait together, actually. Uh, Good lad. I look forward to catching up with you soon, John. Getting a beer and hearing some of your stories again, eh? But yeah, the two of us still here, mate, so. Love and peace, mate. All the best, GTC.